<laughs> Here it is. Driving my Jaguar XJS V12 for the first time properly on the road since getting an MOT a couple of days ago. So yes, it passed the MOT with only three advisories actually. It starts. I actually watched a video with Jeremy Clarkson in where he was driving one of these and it's actually quite surprising that even back then when they were new, they struggled to start. <laughs> So the advisories, while we're going slow and I can think, we had the tie rods. So the tie rods do need doing, I knew they needed doing, and they were on the video, but we had the wrong size, which wasn't great from newer car parts. So they've gone back and I've had some more delivered from Simply Performance Jaguar. At the time of recording, I've not actually changed them yet, but I am gonna be doing that next week. All right, let's just double check. My massive Jaguar bonnet hanging out the front well into the road before I can see. There's a slight squeak as well, which only goes away when I slightly press the brake. I'm not quite sure what that is. There's something else as well. Oh, slight corrosion, but not significant. All right, there's no one here. Let's move off. Oh, a bit of wheel spin. 3,000, a big old boat, this car. Oh, it sounds lovely. As we get to 60 miles an hour, we're driving the XJS, the 1984 XJS V12 with the 5.3 litre. I've had this car for over two, well, nearly two years now, nearly two years, um, and it's finally on the road. I was waiting for a while for someone to do the job for me, but didn't get around to it. I ended up taking it back to my own unit and doing the work. And as you've seen in the videos, there's been quite a bit of work to do. The steering wheel is very off centre, but it's better than it was before when we hadn't done the steering bushes because the steering bushes were horrendous. There was literally nothing left. Whereas at least now it does steer because I test drove it, got to 60 miles an hour and I had no steering and that was quite a scary couple of seconds. But this car isn't supposed to be a sports car or anything like that. It's supposed to be a bit of a Grand Tourer, a nice cruiser as you go along on your long journeys. Not that you want to do very many long journeys because at the moment I'm averaging, let me have a look, 9.9 .9 miles per gallon. At the time I was under a quarter of a tank. I filled up 30 pounds and I'm only just over a quarter of a tank. So this kind of car is very, very thirsty. You wouldn't want to drive it every day like I have been doing, but luckily I only do a couple of miles a day, so it's nothing major at all. I've just been enjoying the car while I can. When I'm pressing on the brake, there's a bit of kickback from the brake, but to be honest, it's just something I'm gonna to have to look into before I sell it. So what is the plan? Because I'm saying that I'm gonna sell it, and obviously that is on the cards because I want to create more content for you guys. I can't keep hold of the same car forever because then you'd be like, well, what am I watching it for? It's the same car every single week. So what should I do? Well, I put a poll out and most of you said you would like to see the XGS sold so I can buy other cars and do other projects. Before I do that, my plan is to get the red interior in here. Me and Mark went and picked up a red interior back along. Hmm. What do you mean, hmm? We may have spent the money and more. <laughs> whoa, 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 forget the we. And um, I was really happy with that interior. It's really good condition. And I'll swap it out for this one. And then this interior will be ready for the buyer so they can have both. As you can hear, from the rattling and see there are currently no door cards. That's because I had issues with the locks. So I've now taken the locks out, cleaned them up, greased them up, and now they're actually opening and closing as they should do. Um, because when you're opening the car, sometimes it wouldn't un you know, open the door. And being a two door, there's only two doors that go wrong. If they go wrong, you can't get in the car. Let me put the window down, see if you can hear a bit of V12 goodness. Not that I can actually see. There we go, yep, that's fine. It's when it gets to about 2,800 revs. That's when it really starts to scream. I wouldn't want to drive this at the 150 or 160 mile an hour top speed, whatever it is. No thank you. Not at the moment, definitely. But it's a very smooth car. When you think that the tie rods definitely need doing, they're like crushed to pieces. Yeah. It's really, really smooth. Through the wheel, not so much, but the actual body of the car, I can feel how smooth it is. As you can see, no headlining in. That's because I've got a brand new headlining that I picked up alongside the interior. I'm really, really looking forward to getting the red interior in, but I haven't got red carpets. That's the problem. If you know anyone that is selling red carpets, let me know, because I'd be highly interested in the red carpets, or potentially um, I do know someone that will be able to help me out with some red carpets, or at least changing these ones to red. I don't know how you do that. We just dye them. I don't know, I'll recover them. I'm not quite sure. I'm not an upholsterer. The headlining, I'm not sure. Maybe I should keep it beige. 
or maybe I should go red. If I go red, it's gonna be very black and red, isn't it? Very hot rod. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be a bit too much having the red headlining. I mean, it looks quite cool without headlining in, to be honest. But of course, a buyer would like to see headlining because one less thing they have to worry about themselves. I think it's three times I've parked the car down at work now and they get so much attention. I'm parking right down in a busy town and everyone stops and takes photos, reads the little thing I've got written there about all the information of the car. The engine's got 299 horsepower and I did put my foot down and yeah, it was quite all over the place. Probably because the tracking's bad as well. So how much am I going to ask for the car? I well, genuinely do not know. I've been trying to do some research to see just how much a XJS V12 sells for. Well, they kind of start from like seven grand maybe on Auto Trader, but you know, it's got 140,000 miles and stuff like that. But this one's got 69,000. So I am a bit wondrous as to what I should do price wise for this car. Because obviously it's not perfect body wise, you know, there's a few bits that will need addressing at some point, unless someone wants a fairly rough and ready car. You know, on a rough and ready V12 Jag, this is your car. At the moment, there's no black V12 XJSs for sale, so I'm not quite sure yet how much to put it up for sale. If any of you kind of have an idea in mind or want to make an offer on this beautiful car, please let me know. Of course, it will come with the red interior, which will look absolutely spot on in this car. I'm looking forward to getting the red interior in just so that I can see it myself, to be honest. Right, thank you for joining me for this quick drive in the XJS. Just give me a bit of an update, letting you know that it passes MOT with only three advisories, which I'm really, really happy about. And now I've got to find somewhere to park it because it's quite big and there's not much around here. There we go, parked up. So thank you very much for joining me on this drive of the XGS Aptus MOT. Really, really excited to have it back on the road and cannot wait to get the tie rods done because that will really stiffen up the steering and really make it feel a lot better on the suspension when you're bouncing up and down driving over potholes and stuff. I'm also really, really looking forward to getting the red interior in, whole red interior, headliner, door cars. It's going to look absolutely brilliant. Please do like the video, it really help push it up in the algorithm more people can see it. And please also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Around 90% of people that watch the videos are subscribed to the channel, so it'd be really good if you did that. It really propelled the channel and we can do more stuff. And also, unfortunately, comment on whether you think I should sell it or not because on the poll people said that I should I don't really want to but I have to we need to get some more money put into the channel so that we can do some more bits buy some more cars what would you like to see me have next I really want something Japanese I want some JDM shits like I want like an ironing board as a spoiler do you know what I mean anyway see you in the next video thank you very much for watching see you later on